all right this is a CMS system created with Laravel so let me show you what it does so you can see in the home page the recent news which we have ordered or you can call it as blog so in the blog page you see the list of blocks that has been displayed with pagination and you can filter down with entertainment tourism technology and news in short you can filter down with categories so even as of now it just shows two posts at a time when you click on categories now if you want to filter down with search just search for Mumbai and click on search you'll see the post related to Mumbai on the title or in the body so you can see it shows the blog is written by John and this is the time that he added the post and this is the title of the post and if I get into the post just click on the title you would be able to read the complete post and if there is any related post you should see the related post over here likewise you can see the related post that too shows up now let me show you how to create this block so let me just log in with the user which is already created here in this case it's vishal at the gmail.com and if you want to see your post just click on all post all my post so you could see the post which is created by you if you want to delete or edit it you can just click on this button and if you want to look at all the posts in the website just click on this block and now you see the post which is created by you you could see these two buttons the post which is not created by you in this case it's John you could not see his you, you could not see the edit and delete button if it's not created by you the same way if I want to edit something just click on this edit let me just choose another post click on this edit and uh, I want to change the title travel guide of India and let me choose the image this is related to tourism and let's shorten the paragraph click on edit post you see the message post updated successfully and in the main blog page you see travel guide of India the title has been changed now you could see the body text that we have shortened it the same way let me create a post as a guest if I click on logout I can create my own profile by clicking on the register I'm going to name it as UI monk UI monk at the rate gmail.com password and confirm password and now let me create a post by clicking on the post so let's create a post the title and let's just choo choose an image and this related to tourism and just pick some random paragraph and paste it click on save now the post is created click on blocks and you should see the post which is created four seconds ago showed as the top now this is written by UI monk so since you are the only user that is logged in you could able to edit you could able to see this edit and delete button so rest of the rest of the post you won't be able to see if it's not your post so if you want to delete just click on delete and it's gone likewise click get into the dashboard and if you want to create a category create a category and let's see a topic called Bollywood and click on create and uh, you can create you can look for all the categories by clicking on this button so as of now we have Bollywood entertainment news technology and tourism so in the home page you should see tech the Bollywood that also got added so if I click on this Bollywood you should see no post found and uh, let me just pick a post and uh, link it with the Bollywood this incredible India so I won't be able to access because I am not the admin so the admin is John let's log in by John 
and change the category all post of John choose this and now pick the Bollywood and delete the images click on edit post and now in all blocks you should see the incredible linear and uh, filter by Bollywood you should see the single post if you don't want you can click, and click on the delete and it will get deleted and if you are new to this channel you can start learning Laravel from the playlist so this playlist starts from the absolute beginner to the intermediate level so in this case you are learning Laravel so you need to get into that Laravel playlist and here I have approximately 30 videos and if you are a very beginner I can I would suggest you to start from episode number one and reach till here and now you we are I can mute this and right now we are at the episode number 30 so we have seen installing form validation and we are we are at the stage where we able we are we are able to convert the HTML template into Laravel template and add validation and then use the Laravel's authentication system and use the middleware to block the URL so we at, at episode number 30 you can confidently say that what all things what I, have, what I have said previously you can confidently say you can do that so let's just I would be upgrading this play, playlist every week so enjoy the process install the project we have to get into the directory <coughs> change directory so I have made I have made the XAMPP run so now here what you have to do is you have to locate the XAMPP folder docs C change directory Laravel projects is a folder that I have kept all my Laravel projects and here I'm going to give the command saying that composer create a project and uh, download the Laravel package and uh, name the uh, name the folder as CMS 99 and this is the preferred Laravel version and now we have to locate to that project So CD CMS 99 and then we have to install two more packages. The first one is going to be the Laravel UI package and then we have authentication package. Then we have to as it says we have to run another code npm install and uh, npm run dev now I believe we have properly installed I think we have to run npm run dev again because until we see the table we need to run the npm run dev and now we could see that the table then that means laravel installed properly now to run the laravel you have to type php artisan serve and before that let me just load this project into visual studio code so code dot will open your cms99 folder into the visual studio code let's just wait until it opens and now i have opened the terminal by control and back tick now i have located it properly now let's try php artisan serve now I think we don't need this CMD so let's just close this and now it says our project is opened on the local host you can see 127.0.0.1 colon 8000 it is the port number and it's trying to open now by the time what we can do is create a new terminal
and over here we can type so I have run the same port dot and the CMS 99 so that's what I need cool that works now let's just close this and uh, let's work on this project now you see this welcome page is coming from I believe it's working no it's not so this welcome page is loaded uh, is getting loaded from the routes web.php so when there's a call for home page when there's a call for slash so the welcome view is getting returned so this view can be found in the resources views welcome so this is the page we don't need this now if I make a refresh you'll see the welcome page and if I change the title to you I wonk and you will see the title to be changed to UI Monk. So now we are going to create a controller. So let's just create a custom controller. Click on the plus. Now the custom controller is created. Now we can have access to the custom controller. We have named this over here. And the custom controller will be inside app, htdocs, controller and custom controller. So you can see you have it has all the re required functions index create store and all now in the web.php which you get it in the routes web.php duplicate this so this is the custom controller when there's a search for home when there's a search for slash just get into the index file index function of custom controller and uh, we'll just name it as index the name of the sorry for that the name of the control uh, the route so when there's a slash so this is the name of the route you can also give welcome dot index or custom controller dot index or home dot index now in the HTTP controller custom controller and in the index file you can make a call of the view which is return now even if you comment this or comment this this is the this is called the closure function and this is called the controller function so it would work fine because previously it was calling from the closer function now it's getting called from the custom controller function which is index cool I believe that is clear and now let's just con convert our HTML into the blade template so it's very simple so we have to we have a HTML I'll leave the link of this HTML in the description and this is the block template index so you see this is what we are going to convert now what we need to do is we'll just paste this folder which is block template into our CMS 99 folder just paste it and uh, you will find a block template over here block template if you want to rename it so it gets at the top now in the index just copy the index file and paste it in the blade.plate and if you refresh the now if you refresh the page you'll see this is this HTML without CSS now what we need to do is we have to copy the HTML and paste it inside the public folder just drag it and now let's try refreshing it you'll see it's working fine but this is not the right way of doing it so better what we do is we'll just copy this image folder along with the CSS which we have moved earlier into the public and just face it so this is the style and this is the image now 
you have to get into each page and change the reference we are going to use the laravel code so blade asset and then call the function now if, if I press control U without refreshing it so you will see the relative link this is called relative link so if I make a refresh I think it's asset the singular form you will get the absolute URL so I have press control U so previously it was just relative and now you can see with the help of asset function it is referencing absolute way so likewise we have to link all the images to so that you can see the relative sorry the absolute path so you may get the confusion if it's working right in the singular sorry if it's right working right without adding asset as a relative path why we are making this as an absolute path so you see now if I made slash what if I make this home slash welcome and if I make for if I make a search for home slash welcome it would work but if I make this without asset will this work have I commented it it won't work so this relative path will work until you have single URL so what if what if, if suppose you have another sub path this time won't work it would work only when there is one slash or when you have a single sub path so if you have multiple sub path the relative, relative path won't work so I hope you got the difference of why we are using asset instead of the relative path now likewise let's just create the other files so we need about it's a slash then we have about so about can be seen the function about home dot about and then we have block for block we'll create a custom controller called block and in the to show the index page it's block dot index block dot index and then for the single block post single hyphen block so it's just show so block dot this is a function and this is the name of the route and then we have contact index again contact dot index now that's clear I believe we have home we have blog we have about and we have contact so for the about we don't need route so the function is same as index and here in this case it's going to be about function and let the view be about dot relate dot php so here in the view create a new file and call it as about dot blade dot php and then copy all the files related for the about and paste it the about dot blade dot php and when I search for about you should see the HTML actually it's not saved you see whenever it's not saved you'll see a round instead of the close and you'll see a notification one which is unsaved
so if you save you'll see the notification is done gone likewise now we need a controller and we need two controller the first one is block and the second one is contact so two controllers are created likewise for the block in the block controller you just need to show the block block dot index I'll show you why I'm making this block dot index in a minute and then again we have a show and here block dot single so why I'm doing this because in the view we are going to create a new folder called block and inside the folder we will be having two files the first one is index dot blade dot php and the second one is single dot blade dot php actually it's showing an error so instead of show let's just make this single and in the web dot php instead of show we'll make this single block dot single and now in the single and the index we have to paste the block copy the block this goes to block and for the single copy this and this is single now let's search for block and let's search for in single I believe how I have given web.php we have to make single hyphen block and cool and what else we have controller and just like with this we have to make this for controller and this is going to be just contact because copy the contact file code and get into the views and create a new file and call it as contact.blade.php and then paste it now if I search for contact over here we should see I search for contact it should get into the contact controller the blog controller and uh, we'll get it the contact feature cool what else we can do now what if I want to change the head section of one file and I have to do it on all files so before that let's make this work so that's what I'm seeing so in the about page we have a sidebar let me just close all so that so in the about page we have a sidebar and in the welcome page also we have a sidebar so what if I want to change one file and I have to do this on all the files in the block section in the contact section the same way in the contact section also you will have a common file common sidebar so let's just fix that we'll create a new folder called a layout and inside the layout actually we, have a, we already have a layout so we can rename this to website or frontend so inside frontend so let's just keep this as layout itself so the other one is layouts and this one is layout the layouts is for uh, layers it's for what so let that be we'll work on this layout itself so in the layout let's just create a new file 
and we'll call it as index dot blade dot php so what we will do is so the home file has the ho the ho welcome dot blade dot php has this section unique so let's keep this page and this page the contact about and uh, the single and the blog uh, blogs index are fo following the same content so why what what do i mean by that if i copy this and paste it here and what is the unique thing on all each page because i have learned the cs or i have learned the html i know which is going to be unique so here on all page the main container is unique i am going to remove it f from the layouts index file and here i am going to keep it as yield file yield, fun yield directive and i am going to name it as main so now let's just focus on contact itself now so in the contact what is the unique content as i already said the main part is the unique content so let me just keep this main and delete all keep this main and you have to surround this main into a directive called section and you have to pass the main here and at the rate end section and paste the main content which is unique for this page and don't forget we have to extend at the rate extends and it's coming from layout and inside the function is index so if I search for contact layout.index is not found it's layouts and now you see it's working so we have to do this on all the page get the unique content here in this case it's main cut this delete all and paste it so before that let me just copy this code because it's going to be useful in all pages now what you have to do is you have to paste this at the top its index and in the end section you have to do this so now you will see with this minimum code your about page will work so you see with the minimum code which you have given the about code about page works the same way for the block except the main delete all and surround this main with the wrapper of Laravel and then we have vlog cool now it's time for the welcome page so along with the main we have one more file which is header so this is main and along with the main we need one more thing which is header except this everything is common demo all face it and uh, this is for the end part and this is at the start now let's see whether our home works or not so our home also works fine now the only problem is we need to link this asset in the welcome page it works but what about the rest of the file let's just get into the inspect and go for it so we know we got this because this is a PHP code so Laravel code so this should be inside the directive literally you call this as literal now it would work cool now it works now let's focus on the sidebar 
so in the index we see the sidebar and now we don't have to write the file name we just call we can call the URL blog about contact make a refresh and click on blog click on about click on contact everything works like a charm one more thing you can make a modification is and you have to understand why we need to we have used a route the name of the route over here so when I make the change in a URL called contact us now so what would I do I have to get into the place where I have used the URL so here in this case it's very simple project so I'll just do it do this rename now this type would work so what if your page is very huge and you have used the links everywhere in the code so in that case what you will do is the main reason of using route is you can use any you can make any modification the URL the only thing is you have to pass this route name instead of the URL so laravel function route and now again let's just get into somewhere and click on block it will directly redirect you to the URL now you can now in the web.php you can make this whatever you want about so UI wonk slash about so I'm just making a random call so if I even though you have made the changes in the URL you will see it would work fine except what we have made is I think in the control u style.css so in the index we have to make this as a asset I don't know how it got off face it now it would work so now I made I hope I have made clear why we are using the name of the route so you can make any changes in the URL without affecting the website code just by changing just by so what if you make a modification here so in that case it's very important you have to modify it on all the places which you have used cool now likewise when the block it's block dot single let me just copy this it's home dot index and it's blog dot index and it's just home dot about so why I am writing this index about so it's just to give a notification rather than getting into the controller and check oh this name of the route is linked to this controller and uh, this uh, function so just by looking at this I can make sure that this is inside the block controller so this is the name of the block controller as a nickname I have given it and this is the function which deals with this page so without getting into the web.php I just make I just get to know that in the contact controller I have the index function that is dealing with this contact page so this is these two are optional you can make you can have home or you can just keep it as about or home according to your convenient so now if, if it is log if it is about everything works fine so in the about again if I click on the single you should see the error it's because we haven't modified the code for the anchor tag kick off and 
not in the single but in the index over here so what is the name of the route we have given for this index block dot single the same way now that would work refresh it and click on single and uh, click on kick off now both of them getting redirected properly in the single you see you see this this is got not getting loaded so i set to get the absolute url or control u or inspect let's just see why it's not getting loaded it's because i believe we don't have the name pick one anywhere let's just write this one in the about over here now it works and now uh, in the single block again let's just copy this and in the water again we have an image we can name it as 2 and here it works and uh, one more fix that we can do is if i click on block you'll see the home is still active but the blog is not active so to make this work you have to get into the layouts index file and in the route which he has specified so in place of class it's a blade function so inside blade literal so if if the route name is actually this should come inside class and make sure it's single quotes and everything inside is double quotes cool now if the route is home dot index then add the active class the same way for the rest of the function for extra the file So if the route is vlog dot index, then add active. If the route is home dot about, then active. If the route is contact dot index, then add the class active. Refresh it. Now this is vlog, and if I click on contact, so what it will do is in the sidebar, it is going to check the name of the route. If the name of the route is home dot about, if the route is home dot about, then add the class active. If not, then leave it blank. So this is the ternary operator. So it's just a modern way of using if. So if this is true, then add this true condition. If this is false, then add this condition. So this is true, this is false, and this is the if condition. So our home link active is all getting worked as we thought. So now we have completely converted our HTML into the working Laravel Blade template. Alright, now let's work on authentication system. So for that, we already have installed Laravel UI package and authentication package. So that means your auth is already set up. So now, let's search for log. And uh, I believe you should see the login page. Yes, it's set. And also the register page. Cool. Now let's just try to add the sidebar. So in the login page. So just as the login page, we want to show the sidebar. It's layouts dot app, and uh, why don't we try layouts dot index? This is our page, and let's try for the login. <coughs> I believe this 
all the CSS will get away and uh, here we need to type main and as expected the CSS is gone likewise in the app we have some CSS let's just call this and paste it in the app just above our CSS and let's try again and yes we got it and uh, if you want you can have the CSS modified according to your theme now I believe I want to show some margin just above this container in the login let's try style margin top of 150 pixel cool that works so this is login the same way if I try it for the register page replacing these two lines for register and this is for register again if you want you can give your margin top 150 pixel and I that works so I want to show these two links over here so in the sidebar in the index we have a sidebar so duplicate these two lines and uh, this is for login register and login and you should see two links and uh, these two links should be visible only to the guest so I'll show you the concept of guest and auth in a minute so before that let's just understand the route so if you want to know the route name you can type php artisan route colon list and it will take some time and give you the name of the route in a minute and uh, we got it so this is login the name we don't have a name here so let's just try by the name login and uh, register refresh it and it works if you click on login it's login if it's register it's register if you click on contact it's contact cool now it's time to migrate it's time to work on the table so let's just see whether we have created the database so in this case we have used the CMS 99 as a file name so I would recommend to use the same name for the database also so before make sure your XAMPP is running minus running so here click on new cms99 is the file name and now we have to link this database to a Laravel project so to do that you have to get to the env file it's environment file and here this is mysql and the database name is cms99 I'm using XAMPP so the username is root and the password is blank by default now it's connected so as of now the CMS 99 is blank so I would need a table that consists of the username data username data so in that case there is already a database table in the app or oh, not in the app in the database in the migration you should see create user table and these are columns that is already created ID string name this is the column name and this is the relevant data type and uh, I want these to be converted to columns so what I'll do is I'll just type php artisan 
migrate so once you make this what will happen is all these files would be converted into tables so we have four tables now let's just see if I click on structure you would see the users table which we have modified it and as I said all the lines would be converted into the columns now in the register if I click on register and type register 1 let me just name do this with my name Vishal Vishal at the rate gmail.com and the password is same confirm password is same click on register and now you would be logged in into a database sorry dashboard yes this is a dashboard now let me just click on browse again you will see the data which I have entered is filled here now let me just show this sidebar over here as well so where this dashboard is coming from it's coming from let's just close this env this dashboard is coming from home now what I need to do is let me just make this index and main refresh it and now you have got it this is your locked in it says you are locked in if you want to make some modification hello and uh, let's try to display the name at the rate auth dot name so to do, do this we have to check whether the user is authenticated or not if the user is logged in if the user is checked then show the or else please view to login we have sent the message now we are logged in so I will be getting the name as my username cool and if you want again you can make the margin 150 pixel and since I am logged in now you can see I am logged in and I don't have to show this law lo is login and register to the logged in user so in that case what we can do is we can create a direct guest so you it won't be shown now to log out what we can do is here actually you can give a link here in the home anchor tag slash logout let's try click on logout the get method is not supported actually we have to send this with a form of post method and the only problem is we have to pass the get method so the it's a CSR of token we have to provide it's a directive again in Laravel it sends a unique token now when I click on this button the logout would be called and it, it should be a post method as this is it says that get method is not supported refresh this page and uh, click on logout and yes you got logged out once you logged out you can see the login and register let, let me try logging again with the Vishal which I have created Vishal at the gmail.com click on login and now these two links will disappear and to see the dashboard what I'll do is in the home not in the home in the index and I would need to show the dashboard as well so dashboard and of course we need to see the route name for the dashboard or the, or the home it's here home the name of the route home uh, route is home let's try now I want this link dashboard to be shown only to the logged in user just like the guest we have auth 
let's try logging out and you see this dashboard is not showing up to the non logged in user so if I face it somewhere here you would see dashboard if I remove the dashboard and uh, it's inside the auth so that means only the logged in user can see the dashboard link so I hope that's clear between the auth and login now your dashboard so now if you get into other links and if you click on dashboard you see you would see the link for logout now it's time to create the table for the blog post now if I get into the single blog post let's just get into the single blog post and we need title we need slug we need the name of the author and we need the image we need the body content so we have to create the table with these columns so to create the table we first need to create a migration file so you see these are the migration files likewise we need one more migration file let's just create that and the code is very simple we have to make sure to follow the convention so create table create and these are common whatever you in between will act as a table name just as we did for the users table so just copy this and if I click enter you will see a migration file is created and in the migration file as of now we just have a primary key ID and a timestamp so what are the things that we need we need ID as a primary key and the title as we saw the title and the slug the slug will be this same value instead of spaces it would there would be hyph, uh, underscore instead of spaces there would be underscore and these would be in smaller cases so this is slug which you will see in the URL and then we have a we have to display the name of the user so we are not going to display some random name so these name would be like if I am Vishal I am logged in as Vishal so here the name would be Vishal so this would be coming from the users table I am repeating again so we are in the post table the data would be coming from this pages our post related pages post related uh, table and uh, this name would be coming from another table which is users table you see this which is users table and what I've done what I've done is I have made the connection with the post this is the post table you can see post table is connected with the users table is connected with the users table with the ID so this ID is nothing but the foreign key which I have mentioned here and the user ID I am saying the col column name in the post table to the user ID but these values will be from this ID of user table and then I am referencing it since I said referencing it with the ID so this ID is this one and on users table and on delete what if I delete the post then the user in if what if I delete the ta user what if I delete the user Vishal so in that case whatever post the Vishal whatever post the Vishal is created would be deleted that's the reason I have made on delete cascade and then we have the image path so you can see we have an image here we won't be storing the image directly in the database but we would be storing the path so this is the image path and then the bot so that is done now we just need to migrate control C PHP RT send migrate now if you make PHP artisan migrate you would see the table in the CMS 99 database post and you will see no you don't see I think I have pasted I think it's not saved it you see I have not saved it yet that's the reason so now I don't think let me just delete this table in the CMS post drop you will see some drop yes and then migrate it phd addition migrate m-i-g-r-a-t
or we have another function called rollback let's just do that so we can run the rollback code and let's run the migration again and let's just watch for the change in the post table you see slug, user id, path, body and this user id is nothing but the primary key now we want to create a form so that form would be responsible to get these values so let's just create one so to create we need to create a page so create blog so here blog dot create so this is the name of the function in the block controller app http controller block controller in the in the create you just need to return a url of name of the file so we can make this blog dot create so here in the blog folder we need to create a new file and call it as create dot blade dot php and uh, let's just copy this and paste it over here and accept the main part we have a form let me just copy form let me just paste it and uh, if I search for create or create hyphen block you see in the create there is a URL which is not yet created that's what's showing error so this is without CSS so it's better that we keep this inside container since we have a bootstrap installed let me just design this margin top of 100 pixel the same way we can add the class on all the input field a form control class cool so if you want you can make the title or label what if you want to add a custom style sheet so in that case create a section and uh, at the rate end section and here you can make the keyword style sheet and don't forget in the index file you can create in the head tag you can create at the rate yield the style sheet now in the create create a style attribute of html and uh, here the label should have font size of 1.2 rem and font weight of 600 let's just see and uh, we can have margin top of 1 rem cool that works and uh, we can style the submit button since it's a bootstrap you can make this dtn vtn primary cool now you can have a title if you want h1 or h2 create post cool now let's just install a ck editor this ck editor in the text area you just need to have this id and you need this cdn
and as I said over here as we created yield you can create one more for script in the index again you can have script so the script is going to be the CDN and this is going to be the script it's better to have the script in the bottom so it's where it should be and we have secret script as I said it's better it should be in the bottom here the page doesn't care you can have it anywhere but it's generally the script should be in just below your HTML so the ID should be body and let's just try refreshing it if everything goes fine you should see a HTML editor what you see is what you get cool except the height we think we have to fix the height here we can give external style to your body if I make a refresh I hope it's not getting saved and uh, the body you have to check the body it's the text area that holds this CK editor let's just give height try giving height to this doesn't work cool just fit this inside this CK editor editable class we have a P and then that works I think 300 is too much we can make this 200 cool and now we have to create a link in the dashboard so let's just log in and uh, in the dashboard we need a page in the dashboard I think dashboard is home we need a container so this card body is responsible for the white box so in the anchor tag create post and then we will create a category and then category list let's see how does it looks we can have a class again since it's a bootstrap VTN VTN success then we can have primary and we can have warning and of course for the logout we can have the button danger and uh, if you want you can keep this along with the container it's better to have this and if you want there is a class called a form inline I guess cool it doesn't work that doesn't matter so in the create post we need to create a route since it's a laravel here it's going to be blog dot 
create so if you click on blog.create you will see the create post the dashboard blog.create fine that works and if you want in the input field you can have margin top of 3 so you get some space so the max is 5 so 3 was ideal if you click on dashboard cool now if you want to remove the white border it's very simple what we need to do is home just remove the rename the classes cards so I believe it was good not no point in removing it if you want you can simply add margin top of 5 to get some room and uh, to make this even cool create a row and then we have column three times so this is first this is second and uh, this is third margin bottom of three for the logout or one more class for the special logout so now if I click on logout I will be logged out let us now work on the validation now you will see in the register page uh, let's just get into create blog page login create post now if you click on submit let's see what happens you're getting this error now when I click on submit these data need to be dealt by a function in a controller so in the controller sorry in the, the function is going to be what block slash store and it's going to be post whenever we submit the method should be post and store is a function that is going to deal and the block controller let's search for store and here this store has a request let me just display the request that we got what do I mean by that let me just show you if you click on just say title and uh, submit post method is not supported by the way in the create we have to call the route it's going to be block dot store and uh, it's a laravel function so click on submit i think i have not refreshed the page click on submit page expires we are getting this error it's because at the rate cross site request forgery we have not initiated so this attribute is required because we are going to save the file of image that's the reason the multi-part informed data is important so click on submit you see the token is coming from the cross site request forgery the body because it's ha it has name so f as of now let's just comment the drop down for the category so we just need to have name the name is blank for the image that's why we are not getting so what happening is so this request has all the names title image and body so to display individually what you can do is input name and now if you search for Vishal and click on submit you will just see
Let us cross check. The title is the name, so actually it should be title. We shall click on submit. You should see only the title. I hope that's clear. Now we are going to validate. It's an array. So here we need to pass. name is required image is required and of course the body is also required its title so this is the name of the attribute the string is required sorry the title is required the title is nothing but the name of the block this is required and it should be a string so as of now let's not complicate it too much let's just make this required only and uh, if I save it you will not see any value click on submit you see it's gone if I click on submit you see it's gone because we are not displaying the error message let's just display the error message just below our input field so here we need to get the name attribute here it's title so the error is an directive of laravel we need to pass the name attribute and this is the error message that we will be getting and this is the custom message that we would be getting so what it is what the attribute value is nothing but this title so this attribute value will be replaced with this title and the validation rule will be replaced with the validation so again if I make it string let's try saving this all and if I make this we shall for here because here I want to see the error message you will see the title is required so here the title is required we don't need margin bottom and uh, I have typed the Vishal here but it got disappeared so the same way let me just do this for the text area also just above the text area here it's going to be the name body and uh, let's just create again and here in this case I'm just making the title Vishal here and click on submit you will see the body field is required and the title which I have written as Vishal disappear. so to, to preserve the title what we need to do is we need to use the value attribute here and in the text area here and uh, this should match with your name attribute refresh it if I search for Vishal and click on submit you'll see the name would be there so the text area won't have the value attribute you can directly use it cool so what if just type some value I want to show you the custom message so what if I want to change the body to be something like the text area because it is taking from the name attribute so in that case we can get into the lang uh, lang validation here you would find a custom message so let me just create one more custom and uh, here it's going to be the name the name is going to be what body and the name of the attribute is what body required the name of the attribute is required and the custom message is going to be the text area cannot be blank let's try this refresh it 
let's purposely make the body blank and by clicking submit and uh, actually I made a mistake so this should be custom and again let's try title is the name which is equal to the same if it is if it is blank the vlog title cannot be blank let's just refresh this and click on submit you should see the block title cannot be blank the body field is required actually this is not getting overridden let's see why cool what you have to do is you just need to write this just below this line the body is in the body and the title and let's try to upload the image click on submit we are not getting the error for the image maybe we have not written this on the image the name attribute and in the image we just made this required an image let's try it's not an image I'm purposely giving the notepad the image must be an image again in the image attribute you can modify the validation it's an image and upload appropriate image only for blog thumbnail mm, so on submit what we can do is if everything goes well then just display it dump and die cool let me type the title of the blog as Vishal and uh, some Vishal let me just make this some bold and uh, I'm not uploading the image click on submit and uh, the image must be an image in the validation and uh, one more thing image upload image one upload image only for vlog thumbnail so I believe I don't have any image if I have let me just upload one desktop CMS 36 images load and here you go if everything succeeds we see the dump and die from php function and uh, that works fine now what we'll do is let's grab these input data in the controller so you know in the form which we have created it there is block dot store so here in the controller there is a store function that is going to take care of it now with the help of request we can access all the input field value so let me just copy this and explain you so now with the help of request and the input the name of the input field we need to pass here and we are storing it into a variable called title and the same for the body the name of the text area and it's stored into a variable now in the what do you call let me just close this in the table we have these fields 
ID title which you have to pass ID is auto generated you don't you don't have to insert this log we need to pass the user input the image path and the body so the image the body and the title are very straightforward for the slug what do you mean by slug so a slug is nothing but if you type something like create a blog it's the title create a blog so the slug would be like this space would be re replaced with the dash so as I said we need to pass the title and we need to pass the hyphen so that is what I have done so it's a class we have to import it so you can see Illuminati support and str it's a class and it's a, it is the static function slug and we need to pass the URL sorry the title and that need to be the space need to be replaced with the dash or hyphen you can see that's I have stored it into a slug so for the user id as I am Vishal so my user id would be stored here the to get the logged in user what you can do is auth colon user will get you the logged in user and the id we can access the column so now let's work on the image so to get the image path what we will do is now let's work on storing the file into the system so we need to focus on two things the first one is we need to store the image into the system or in a folder of laravel and the second thing is we need to store the path of the image into the database so let's focus on the first which is storing the image in the file system so let's just duplicate this and here instead of input it's going to be file and the name of the we don't need this close the name of the input field of image is nothing but image so we can use that over here and uh, this isn't enough we are not going to store this right now we'll just return it by commenting all as of now and then let's just see first in the desktop I've stored the images now this isn't enough what you have to do is we have to use the store function and over here and we need to specify the disk where we need to store here in this case it's going to be public so how do I know it's public so here in the config system you will find a folder called config here you will see file system so by default you will have three disk the local the public and the S3 so we need to focus on the public so we want to see the images on the website so we will be using the public desk so that's what I have used this keyword over here now you will find a folder called storage and here you will find a public folder and this is a place where your image would be stored let's just see refresh it second image click on submit I'm so sorry this should be image and now you see the folder in the storage called public would have the image so this is the image and I want this image to be inside the folder called blog and then post and then images let's try again click on submit and you can see blog post image so you'll see blog then we have post then we have images inside the images we have this cool that's fine now we can't directly access this storage folder so to access any images that image need to be inside the public folder over here so what we need to do is we need to link the storage folder with our public folder how we are going to do it so here we would have a function called 
we need to create a code php artisan storage colon link now it would get linked so this same folder which we have created can also be found in the public folder also so this is created just after you write this code and now we have storage inside the storage we have log we have post then images then this image cool now to access this we need the proper url so inside public we have storage so let's concatenate it with the storage slash and then we'll store this inside image path variable so this image path is nothing but your column name dollar image path equal to so if you want to see again return and let's just see you should get the proper path click on submit I know you will get validation click on submit so you should find a proper path the class auth is not defined so we need to install the authentication class that so that we can get this auth click on submit I think I have not refreshed it controller auth is not defined in which place now you got this work storage then let's try this accessing if everything goes well it should get accessed yes we can access this so now with proper URL you can access this image so now we need to store this path into the database now let's just store these values into the database so we don't have to return this and now we need to create a model so to create the model we need to write this code and once you write this code you'll see in the app in the model you'll find the post file that means your model is created properly now we need to access this model over here so where is it actually inside app then inside we have models then we have post so we can access this post in the store function we will create a new object and this is the reference to the post object and with this reference we can have will have access to the table name and we need to store the relevant table names value over here likewise let me create some more so we have title we have slug we have user id we have image path and we have body so these are the column names and the column names and we have relevant variable that holds the data for that column so slug is this, this variable and user id then we have image path and then we have body actually we need we needed this parenthesis now to store this we have a function called save and that's it cool now let's just try saving this so this is the 
post table which is bank as of now let's try importing some values so so let's just add some values and I saw right now we need to change this title let's do it later so this is some content I think it's not viewable we'll add this style if you want color white sorry black you can give this color black to this one also font weight 600 yeah that's that's cool just copy this and get you to create file I hope you remember that we had a style sheet so style so cool that would work we don't need this second whatever let's add this grab the title relevant image and the text area click on submit I think I have mistakenly removed the authentication click on submit again that's a silly spelling mistake here it should be capital A submit again unknown column in the field list so here in the model which is post it says it is expecting two more columns the first one is create a dot and update a dot so here in the table we have not passed the create a dot and update a dot so let's just add these two over here update a dot and create a dot now we have to get into the console and type migrate rollback and if let's just see the table again whether we are able to see refresh so you can see there is no data related to post so now VHV artisan migrate now you will see the post table that would be migrated if once it's migrated just refresh this get PHV admin and in the post you will find two more columns so that's clear now let's try it again click on submit and this is blank let's just see whether any data is stored or not and yes the data is stored properly and uh, once it stores what we need to do is we need to show the message saying that return redirect and where to redirect back get back so let's try deleting this and add again so 
so over here let's refresh this click some random image and some random post let's just make this not h2 click on submit and yes you got back and let's just click on browse and you see it's properly inserted let's just display the success message now so here while sending back just send it with a message so with is the function and this is the key and this is the value post saved successfully now we can access the status key in the file let's just add this just about the function and over here we are going to check if there is any session so what it will do is so this session this with function what it will do is it will pass the message through the session and that will be accessible only for one page not more than that so as I said this is going to store the value in the session we can access this value with the help of session and if there is any session and the session has the status sta session has the key status display the status since it's Laravel <coughs> and uh, we can make this little style so it's going to be background the color is color let the see white let's just see if everything works fine what is the second latest post some random the tides of India let's just use this keyword as a title and uh, the text and we'll have this relevant image click on submit post saved successfully so here in this case instead of red it should be green and we can add some padding so one rem works good padding one rem and just to see whether the data is saved or not on browse or you can click on refresh so yeah this is the second post and just see this slug you'll see the comma separated value now we need to display these values into the database so if you notice we in the block let's just click one block and you can see this the title the image the content this is body and this is created at is all in the single file single table but this author is coming from another table with the help of this user id so we need to link this table this force table with our users table with eloquent relationship so so how we are going to do that so to do the eloquent relationship we need to get into the models we know the models is inside app the post and the users and over here let's just go with the post now we need to create a function public function and where what we want to make a relationship of is user and here we need we had we have two relationship which is has many and uh, belongs to now you with simple english you need to understand one thing the user has many post and the post belongs to user 
so with this English simple English formation you need to make the function and with this English formation it would make sense now return which is this this is nothing but the post the class the post the class we are in the post and post belongs to belongs to the user class that's what I have written the same way we can do this for the user and now instead of it's going to be post yes it's multiple post belongs to actually user has many you can see this is the first one user has many post so this line simply refers to this one so this is referring to post and this we have a post that belongs to user and in the same way we have the this is user class so we have the user has many post I know it's very confusing but this is how we need to work on so this refers to the current class the current class is user user has many and the post that we have passed the same way the current class is post so post belongs to user post belongs to user now we are going to display all the data in the block page so here we are going to see the uh, the route which is responsible for showing this page so in the web.pd block block.index so in the controller block controller this is the page that is responsible now what we need to do is since we have access to the post object with the help of post get all the data and store it into a variable called dollar all post now we need to pass this variable with the view so just copy this and as a second parameter use the compact function and send it now we can access this in the blog index so here in the resources where it is I'm totally lost resources views blog dot index and here you would find some repeating blocks so these two are getting, getting repeated so I'll find the repeating blocks card content and card content I believe these are the two which is getting repeated let me comment this and uh, with the help of for each at the rate for each all post as post it's a variable so end for each we have seen this lot of times so I'm not going to explain line by line so this is the person number 36 cool now with the help of this post we can access the column name and what it is it's the image path I guess so let's just get it smaller and what are the data image path and we can access the time and the user did so created at the rate underscore at so this will give you the column name so remember we have created two column name later on by mistake we have not created it earlier so that's the created at and then we have username so here comes a twist 
so we have created the belongs eloquent relationship so here we can directly call the function and with the help of the function you can call the column name so this is coming from eloquent relationship and then what we have the title post dot title if everything goes well you should see the two posts which we have created yes we got it the two posts the badminton and the times of india now you will see this is not human readable this is coming from directly this is coming coming directly from the database time format you can see created at this one now to make this what we can do is here again we have a function called difference for humans it's a default function let me just try again now you will find 31 minutes ago 26 minutes ago, minutes ago created cool I hope that's clear now what else now if I click on this you will see single blog post it is stack we don't need this anymore now you can see single single blog dot single it is coming from blog dot single let me just take this yeah now what we can do is we can pass the data as a second parameter so this is for the route so when you let's just see by default it's going to give you the ID so let's just see over here if I hover on it on the and title you will see you can see that's two single block go we are passing the post so this post is getting the ID I hope that's clear we are passing the data individually one by one so for this we are getting this we are passing this through URL so we can access this URL data in the route with this so it's actually the ID so if you click on it you will get the ID URL. seems to be an error actually it should be dollar missing parameter required route dot single if I take this out and try again that box so actually the blog dot index and blog are playing the major role here so these two data are coming dy dynamically so let's just try clicking on this we are getting the URL so slash dollar ID so we want this to be static sorry a slug right so what we'll do is we'll create a URL called blog and then we'll have an ID so now let's check so now it will be just an ID route single missing parameter the problem was that there was the comment below that the laravel read and it doesn't allow me to execute the code so I remove the comment now it works fine now in the single dot block in the route single dot block it's in the route and over here we have a block and then we have the post let's click on the blog now now you can see blog slash two and instead of the post I want the slug let's just try again instead of post number or ID I want the slug refresh it and 
let's try it sending through here the problem is with the dollar now it would work fine so if I click on badminton you'll see badminton Asia championship shows up so if I click on times of India time hyphen of hyphen India comes up so now that's very clear let's work on the single function now so over here we have access to the slug now with the help of post we can make a query with where statement on the column slug with our received value and get the first data and store it into a variable single post dollar and send this to with the view with the help of compact function now we can access this in the single it's going to be very similar I guess so this is the about text this is different the section is different now just like we did on the index the image path this is the image path and uh, return by I believe yeah it's over here return by the eloquent relationship and uh, the date posted date and what else the title and the body body let's just try refreshing it and click on badminton actually it's not all post we had made this as single post just replace this with single post again sorry for that it should be actually the variable single post image path and now everything seems to be working title looks good day time looks good eloquent relationship works fine the body also works fine except it comes with an HTML so to avoid the HTML you can write in this way as a syntax of Laravel cool now for the image path let's look at what is causing this issue so we know its storage since we are inside the block I think we have to write it in this way as we do to get the absolute UI and yeah that works so this looks good let's look at the second block so this is badminton championship and this is times of India and yeah this is also works great as we thought and let us try adding one more you are one more post click on dashboard create new and uh, this is for social media in India title and uh, the post related to social media and the paragraph for the social media it's too long click on submit you should see a message post created successfully let's look at let's let let's look at the post click on block you see the social media post cool and this is what we have created right now click on social media in India and you see the relevant content and that looks great as we thought now in the single blog post 
you see this pagination in the index just place this outside the section and we have two footer I don't know where it is coming from yes it's from here we don't need this cool uh, as of now we have created the card operation for the post and in the home page also you will find the post which is not dynamic let's just make that so the web.php the web.php which is responsible for displaying the index is the custom controller in the welcome just as we did for the block controller index let's copy this and paste it over here and instead of all it's going to be latest post and we want to take only four or take only two two latest post and get it and send it with the compact function but this time in the welcome view now we have to import the post also so in the welcome page we know which is getting repeated it's the block content delete this and this would get replaced with our uh, where it is it's the log index I guess just copy this and uh, in the welcome it's going to be similar cool let's just try on the home page you should get the latest this is for for created four, mi four minutes earlier and this is created 45 minutes earlier cool our home page is also dynamic now the blog is also dynamic now except these categories and search button and uh, in the about it's not yet dynamic now let's fix one common problem so if you click on times of india you'll see times of india in the url what if i create another title called times of india and that would get overlap so to avoid that what we will do is we'll add the number post number over here if it is one if it is two if it is three but likewise we are not going to do the random number but what it will do what we will do is as of now we have four three posts so the last one's id is four so if i click if i create one another post what will happen the post will get the id of five so what if i'll add the post id over here so if i create as of now we have three posts the id of last post is four if create one more post with the same name times of india but in the slug i'll add the latest post id also so we need to find the place where the slug is getting added here in this case it's in the here in this line here slug like uh, the same way i want to add the id also first id or let's say latest first id so we create the latest first id variable and uh, what we will do we'll query we'll use the post model and uh, get the latest post and uh, up to where take up to one we need the one last last latest post of last one and uh, what to get we need to get the first row and from there i just need only the id and increment the id with one and then store it this should be dot sorry dash and then the latest post let's just try creating one more post in the blog i believe in the dashboard create post 
and what if let's just create with the another URL lock or another user create uh, let's just register and here in this case let's make this John John at the rate gmail.com password and is going to be same and uh, in the let's just create a post and the user is going to be John now so the times of India another user with the same another user is going to create the same title but here in this case there is a change here you will get this log different and then some random title and click on submit and define constant controller where in the log controller I think I have not imported yeah I, mean, I have imported it but you found the mistake it's a static function it's not a regular function I don't create property title or null in this single blog let's just see whether the data is entered or not I think the data is not yet entered it should go to the blog dot store so in the web dot php blog dot store the store function not in the custom the store function let's just try again I don't know why this error showed up times of India the autos some content click on submit post saved successfully and if I click on blocks you should see the latest post times of India written by John six seconds ago and I believe the latest one should show at the top in the block so likewise in the index file let's click the latest and uh, let's try get yeah the latest one written by John showed up if I click on times of India you will see times of India followed by 5 and uh, let's just try creating one more block and this time local train let's just pick a relevant image and some random content click on submit let's click on blog and this is the second post created by John created written by John, written by John and written by Vishal and if I click on mobile local train you'll see the slug changes to 6 and so post or content and everything shows up as we thought click on block and in the home you should see the latest two blocks which is created right now 3 2 seconds ago 22 seconds ago now here we have a problem so if I click on dashboard and if I get into incognito mode and without logging in if I try to log try to get into the URL I would have access to it not just for this project not for this URL but for this URL you will have access you see I'm not logged in you can see login register shows up but still I'll be able to add post so to stop that what we can do is we need to get into the routes folder and in the web.php and there is multiple way of using it the first way of using it is adding the middleware to a single URL so this is a single URL so if I try to do this and added the middleware called auth and if I make a refresh I would be redirected to the home page so likewise what all things we have and that was for single URL what if you want to let me just show you where the auth is coming from
so this auth is already defined over here in the app you will see something called middleware in the HTTP middleware and there is these are the middleware that is created but the auth is related to this authentication so it is saying if proceed to the request so this is the request proceed to the request when you have a valid authentication or else throw them back to the login page if you don't want them to be thrown back to the login page you can make this to go to the register let me try getting into that URL block slash create you'll be thrown back to the register let me check for the original register link if you click on register you can give redirect to register now let's try and uh, I don't see it getting registered so let's just see whether the it's create blog I'm sorry for that redirect to the register page it may contain more than single header line new line detected instead of redirect you can try route also and you see you got redirected to register instead of login let this be login itself and if you want to show a custom message you can do that by adding with and you know we have created session called error and need access need to log into access and to show this message we need to get into the resources views auth login and just below just above our uh, where we have added just copy this error message and let's just use this in the login it's error because if this is this was the key and you can make this red let's try accessing again create block and uh, what you have to do is you have to import the session and then use the session flash message for uh, sessions flash facade and this is the key and this is the message and uh, that's it if you try to access the create block you will be thrown back to the login page with need to log into access or you can see need to log into access blog <coughs> pages cool now what if you want to make the whole controller in this case the block controller as protected so in this case what you will do is you will create another function and this is not a function this is a constructor and this constructor is applied to all the methods inside this controller so what if I try to access anything related to the controller I would be thrown back even the blog index page so even if I try to access the blog index page it should throw me it should throw back to the login construct struct sorry for that it's construct spelling was wrong now if I try to access I'll be thrown back to the login page I won't be al allowed to view the controller block controller so 
Well, as a non-login user, I would like to see the blog, but it's not allowing me. So in that, what you can do is you can give the function except index. So I click on block. So except block, and one more page I need access, which is this one. And uh, except show, I guess. Not except. I think it's single. Block. We can send it as an array. And uh, inside here, first one can be index, and the second one can be single. Now let's try. And the single is also allowed. Cool. And now I want to show the edit and delete button. So if you are a logged in user, now you see just after this title name, you can add a div, which is a parent div is a link which hold two child. The first one is two a main child. The first one is edit anchor tag, and the second one is form. So this form is required for delete. And you can ha you can add a class VTN VTN primary and the other one could be danger because it's a delete. Now if I make a refresh on this page, you'd see edit and delete. But that's cool. What I need is I want it to be over here. So let's add our custom style. So we have a directive, and uh, inside this directive we can add our CSS. If you remember, we had we have created this in the main layout page, and inside H4 I guess. Uh, inside H4. Inside H4, let's just make this. So before that, it's a style sheet. Display flex. Now you get things side to side, and you can make the width as 100 percentage. So you can some space. Justify content. So to horizontally align, justify content. JUS. TIFY justify content and to vertically align its align items. Now again inside H4 we have links class. We can do the same display flex and so on except width. I believe it's links cool now instead of justify content center it's better to have space between it is what this is here so we'll get some space between left and right and for the form let's just add padding or margin left 15 pixel cool and you can you could see the edit and delete button but I am logged in as John but I should see the edit and delete button only for John but not on the visuals so in that case what I will do is so in this case to show the data to, to show the links only to the logged in user you will add the at the rate auth which we did for the sidebar refresh it and for non-logged in user if I click on block 
I should not see the edit and delete button. I'm, this is not logged in user in incognito mode. Now, again, to show the edit and button, edit and delete button only to on, you need again a delete if. And let me just close the if and explain you what is that inside. We are getting the post and we are getting the post user ID from the block and we are matching it with the logged in user so if the logged in user and the author of the user matches then only show the edit and delete let's just try one more time I think there's some mistake over here and now that works so auth we need to make sure we are checking and if the user id matches then we'll show the edit and delete button so you see edit and delete button only to join what if I try to log in with the Vishas account and uh, the edit and login button sorry uh, the edit and delete button should be shown only to the Vishal's post so the return by Vishal so edit and delete return by Vishal edit and delete fine that is fair and simple now now let's work on this edit button so if I get into inspect and select the edit button you would see the href is nothing so in this case what we'll do is block will create a route and the route name is going to be block dot edit which we will be creating and along with that we would be passing the post which we get from the for each loop so if I make a refresh you should see I hope I won't get any error because I have not defined it yet so better better save where we save will create the we'll create a copy of this and here in this case it's going to be edit and of course we would be receiving the ID and it's going to be edit function yes as I thought let's just open the edit and you see the 4 has shown up so as we already saw if you pass the variable or, or a reference to a single row you will get the ID by default it's a functionality of Laravel now we can access this ID in the edit function so just as we did for the slug here it's going to be the same thing instead of slug we would be getting the ID and now we can make this variable as edit post what we would be getting we need to find the ID of the post that matches it's not single it's edit so the edit post where you are going to send it is going to send the edit dot block dot edit where this where the mistake is getting cost so let's just create a new file over here it's better that we duplicate the create do we have option for duplicate I don't think so create a new file and call it as edit dot blade dot php and copy all the file of create and paste it in the edit I don't see any error but one problem one problem in this file but what is the problem it's not saying yeah it's over here we already have edit function cool I have deleted it and I'm going to edit now in the edit.blade.php
what are things just changes to edit and what variable that we passed it's edit post now over here it's it's going to be block dot update and of course as a second parameter we will be passing the variable and uh, we will be creating this update in, uh, later on and uh, since it's update we need to make the method as put and without wasting time let's just create the update also it's going to be put update and function for update we'll create later on function for update anyway there would be again a sim similar function and that will take the parameter request also and let's keep this blank as of now now in the edit we will have the value from the variable for title and for body <coughs> let's see if anything everything goes well you should see a new alert to the create page and all the get is not supported it's post actually in the web.php it should be get click on edit yes social media and social media in india actually it's title in the edit this should be body and here you go and once i click on submit you can see edit post instead of submit you can make this edit post and you can make this warning and if i click on edit post what should happen it should get into the update a similar thing equal to the store should take place just copy all the functions from the store and paste it over here and we need a validation yes and the title the latest post id we don't need to take the we are not going to create a post but we are going to update it so in that case we can get this id from the url and just give it over here we don't have to any we don't have to make any addition also and we don't need to add the authentication we don't need to update the image yeah if, if there is image then we can update it we can update the body and we are not going to create a new post because we are going to update the post so in the update instead of passing the id where is the update instead of passing the id we are passing the reference so that's fine this could work even without id so instead of id we get the post and the model now we can access this post because we have passed this oh wait this is the reference to the post and now we are accessing this and then what all things we need latest post id it's not latest post it's current current post id then body then image then we get the post that is get post from the post from the object or the, or the parameter of the function and we are updating it we don't have slug if we have slug we don't have user id post edited successfully let's just try refresh it 
let's just try updating the image for now it's a social media in India so let's just fix this Edit post user ID does not have any value the problem is it's trying to insert we don't need insert we need updation let's see how let's see the fixes I got the problem I tried jump and die it's not able to get the ID that means this is not able to send let's try differently now what I did is I have converted the ID to post the text as post now I'm using this post in the controller and this post now has the ID so now it's able to retrieve the ID likewise let me just uncomment all and if everything goes well let's just choose the image of India post edited successfully let's just click on the post and we should see the India kit yes social media in India and instead of social media we can rename this to places to visit in India and of course let's add the image and let's make the last one as the first one so digital starting from digital previously this is the previous one and if I click on edit post post edited successfully or you can make post updated successfully make a refresh and you should see places to visit in India and if I click on it so this is the previous one in flu in flu glue and now digital scholar cool so the updation works as we thought instead of post edited we can make the message as post updated now I have encountered a problem here over here if I get into the block and this is a URL for edit right now I am Vishal what if I want to edit the John's vlog if I click on John's vlog I get to know that his ID is 6 so if I try to enter manually and try to hack John's post I would have access to it so this is John's post so if I try to access and try changing it so by local train click on edit post for subdata now let's try to change this see this in the blog local trains in Mumbai cool you see the hack here if you are not a logged in user so if you are not the author what you need to do is you should show an error so in that case if you are not the author then abort and show the error 404 the same way for the edit too previously we have used the same code to check if you are the author of the post now you are using the same code but here we have used not if you are not the author post then abort then now let me try to edit this no I am Vishal what I am trying to edit the John's post I am getting the error over here and I believe this is the right code let me just fix this if not
now let me try checking it again the same way in Z5D we can pass the post also in the editor so we can access this editor here. let me try and you have to make here a post and of course it's off post and the error is because of this line could be current id equal to get this post and give the id now we can pass this over here it could be because of this issue it's singular we are passing and let's just try using it singular wherever possible yeah so silly mistake and this is my log my uh, my post and let me try John's post and it's 5 click on let's try editing it 5 and it says forbidden cool this is what I need so we know the two is Vishal's post let's try logging in with John and try to edit the post number 2 blocks click on anything and we know the second post is official if I click 2 it says forbidden cool this is what we need it should not allow to edit some others post cool let's work on the delete functionality so over here in the delete button where you could find the index I believe and the action is going to be route delete vlog slash delete and we need to pass one more parameter called this post it could be without string and it's a laravel, laravel syntax so blade now let's create this route and of course the method should be post and create cross site request forgery and method as delete dweb.php just as we created it should be delete function delete and the function should be destroy and in the block control we already have destroy we would be getting the id but in this case we would be getting the post reference to the post and we will be deleting the post and sending the message to the blocks index page just copy this message redirect to route and here in this route is blog dot index with message post 
deleted successfully so in the blog index you should have the same as we made this for just note the keyword its status so in the blog index just above your all post and just below your sidebar let's display the status refresh it so let's try creating no let's still let's try logging in with Vishal's account because he has four block it doesn't matter if it get deleted one in the blog let's delete the times of India click on delete I think nothing is happening input type submit actually cross site request forgery should be in small and the method delete
here it is better to add one more link called my blog post so over here in the home my post maybe it's could it's it could be because of this column d8 have we written somewhere column let's just make this call md 10 and check for the view yeah that looks great So before that, let's work on the search bar. So the search is coming from home index, so blog dot index. So you can see the name is search, and the form action is there. Everything is working. So if I click on search, you see in the URL of index page, you get this URL. So in the web dot php, which is responsible for blog dot index. Blog dot index. It's the index function. Over here, we are going to check whether the request we are going to check whether the request if let's just say dump and die whether we are able to get the search data hello and you see you can call hello cool if there is any data then get the data and use the where query use the where query and store it into a variable called all post so if there is no any data then do the same thing as you regularly do just show the latest post and show it and uh, over here with the where clause you will see we are using the where clause on the title not only on title we need it on the body also control v so or where title this is going to be the body column and let's try searching it something called India or badminton let's search badminton and click on search yes you got only badminton cool if you click on blog and try searching called cyber c-y-b-e-r click on search and you display only data related to cyber so likewise let's create my post show all my post in blog index page so this is coming from home and in the home my post post and here in the route we can see home dot my post and in the controller let's copy the same that is of that is on the blog index now my post the function is my post blog slash my post or just say home dot home slash my post so in the blog controller 
create a function my post and here we need to get all the post and send it into a new file or the same file called blog index or new file called blog my post and in this in the views you may need to create a new view resources views and uh, we have index create a new file and uh, called my post dot blade dot php and copy all the index code in the my post and over here before displaying the for each here we don't need a search or a category since I just want to display my post here and here if you are going we are going to check at the rate if and at the rate end if if I am the author and I am logged in then we can use this code if I am logged in and I am the author then display this content let's see if there is no any error we should see my post data as of now in the block controller just get all so I am John I am just get only two post and over here in the image also I am not able to see the image and uh, in the post we should use the asset to get this absolute path and this is my post if I click on dashboard and get into actually you see there was a mistake it should be equal to that's the reason e even if I am Vishal I got to see the post of John I have a Vishal logged in user and I should see all my post over here all instead of all blog post all my post so if I get into blog you'll see the mixture and if you see one if you want to see only your post you need to get into blog post cool and what if I search something in the blog and get any result let's search something so in that case you need to display in the index you need to display the error so instead of for each you should use for else at the rate end for else because we can get a directory at the rate empty and here you can face no post found refresh it and you see no post found if you want to make this to show as an error that is also possible just copy this in the index in the place where is no post found let's try refreshing it no post found cool now we need to show the pagination so here in the index we have a default pagination in the index 
where it is coming from it's from the blog dot index and instead of else what we can do is we can make this page in it and pass only four let's try we should get only four in four in a page yes we got four in a page and now the whole post that we are passing into the view and get into the view and in place of pagination we need to write a laravel code which is dollar links so if I try you should get a default pagination from laravel you can see it's very big but we can make this customizable let's just do that and where this pagination is coming from it's from the vendor laravel and then it's from and then we have framework src and over here you should find illuminate and inside that you should find pagination somewhere over here you can see these are the pagination but for this case laravel is using this tailwind css what I, w I want to make custom CSS in that case we would show the default uh, we would modify this default file and there is bootstrap 4 also if you want you can do that now what we need to do is we need to link this vendor file to our public file so that we can access it so we need to get into the command prompt and uh, here we need to run this code php artisan vendor publish and tag is equal to laravel pagination so once you run this code you would see a file that is created in the public folder in the name of vendor and it shows the actual place resources views vendor resources where is the resources views and we find vendor and the modify modify able file is available over here and let's just see whether it is taking this from this file or not so the tailwind.css so showing let's just call this code showing we can modify it somewhere showing is over here if you want you can change the color of the text just to see let's just try removing this showing and yes showing is torn instead of showing you can type showing UI monk and you would see showing by you now you got to know that the file is calling the file which is calling is the tailwind.css we want to make this as default.blade.php how we do that so in the index we need to pass a video and now it is using the default one you can see pagination default I am purposely giving the name as pagination default now I want to make this code equal to the pagination default and here we have a div it's a div it's not a name with id and class so we can make this as an id and class so instead of div just remove the unordered list that's it now this is for the first so for the first one we need to check whether we have any laravel code is there or not if there is no any code just remove it and for the first page I want the style of this to have opacity of 0 0.3 and pointer colon event none 
the same is true you can see for the last which is very similar So before removing, let me just check whether we have a Laravel code is there or not. No, this doesn't have any Laravel code. But this has it. So copy the same thing and paste it in the href and remove it. Now just like this, let's just do this for the last one. Anchor tag and again we have anchor tag. So this doesn't have any special except you see this is disabled so you can also make this disabled with the CSS just copy this and this one has the pagination href now this is something like what if 1 2 3 and then dot 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 8 9 10 so in between numbers these are disabled so again copy this you can see in between we have this element and uh, this is disabled by default we don't have to do anything in the href it, does, it doesn't also have href now for the middle part in between we have numbers and the anchor tag is also there now for this one you see the in between number is there but there is no href so you can remove that and you can see this has a class active so for us also we have we have a class active so in the anchor tag you can make this class active delete it if i make a refresh and you will see our code if i get into two this is the second one if i get into three this is third one and if you remember i have made this point even none and disabled so this is it Let's just try the word on search. Links does not exist. So for the search over here the index all post pagination links. So this is actually coming from the container. Sorry, not to the cont but controller. app http controller block controller so you have made this thing it the same way let's try to make this instead of get we can make this as page in it or let's just try and yes now you got it you got only four with word india india ye. so india india you can see the Indian and again India cool our pagination works as we thought and what if I want to make this at the center in that case the block with diff place inside class margin x and y auto or we can make this as a style sheet as a st inline style margin 0 and auto width of 100% and uh, we can make text align center or display flex 
align items center justify content center just copy these lines and give it to your pagination if you have inline style you can make this pagination body and give the save to the pagination body and give this class over here cool let's just see how does it works for my post I think my post doesn't need a pagination over here you can remove this pagination if you don't want to first and foremost things we need to create a table for the cot categories so now as you see let's just create a migration table migration file for the categories now fetch addition cool click one and now you see it got created now over here we need to create a column so the column would be name and it should be unique and now that's it you can type php artisan migrate and now you will see the table would get migrated and it would get converted into the table in the end. categories and you can see id has shown up let's create a new page for the category just as we create the created for the create post create block so it's very simple we just need to create the controller first so let's create a controller let's create a category controller and now a controller would be created in the web.php when so this is for category itself so just like as we did for block you have to do it for the category so when there is a search for category index dot category it's category block duplicate this and for create we can create as of now let's comment this and let's visit let the close which are not needed for us so the first thing is we need a controller category controller and in the create we are just going to return a view and inside categories folder we need to call the create so we need to create a file in the resources views create a new folder categories and create a new file create dot blade dot php and this should be similar with the create block copy the whole thing and paste it and what are things that we need we don't need body text area we don't need we don't have image we just need we just have name id name cool and this is going to be create dot store we don't have form so we can remove this now when i search for create categories that create you should see create dot store is not defined uh, you can remove this as of now
Let me just duplicate this and comment this as of now. We can remove this action and create category and in the web.vg when the search for this in the create function everything seems to be fine comment won't work it's better to delete this yes you find you have only so what we can do is we can see this inside control a uh, container check this all card card body and uh, over here inside the container you can make this call md6 8 cool this is for category and uh, we can anytime show all category the button this is for all category VTN VTN primary margin top 5 and this is for all category cool now now let's store these value into the database so for that we need a route route and it's going to be category dot store and uh, in the web dot php just as we did for the store category dot store and this is going to be the controller store and category dot store cool in the store function we'll copy the same thing as it as we had on the block here instead of title it's going to be name and yes it's going to be unique to the table and uh, we will be getting the name and storing it into the variable no id no slug no user id no images no body and uh, here we need to call the category category model over here i hope we have created model not yet so let's create a model CHP artisan make model categories C capital enter so it's category C A T E G O R Y now we use this category and we'll be just storing the name other than that nothing and then category saved successfully refresh it identifier form yes now let's try 
entertainment and click create column not found title actually this is the column name which is name click create category created and in the category let's just refresh it and check whether category entertainment is created or not yes it's done let's work on view all category so if I click on all category there's a function so let's go for index category category dot index and over here in the index function or in the resources views categories let's create a new file it is going to be index dot blade dot php and let's copy the whole create page and paste it over here and instead of form here we need to have a table and uh, let's grab a table and uh, paste it over here we just need two rows and it's better to delete all and it's going to be the category name and the anchor tag with edit and the form tag with button delete of course they should have type submit since it's a form now if I make a refresh and if I click on create all category and in the all category it's going to be route index category dot index and it's blank it says save it and let's check I think in the index that we need to return the view with name index and yes let's see a data table we need to grab the CDN in the index just of our style sheet and uh, for the JavaScript this is just a CK editor but it is going to have a data table and uh, the table should have ID and that's it let's see what is causing the issue data table is not defined and now I have added the data table now let's just make this dynamic so here in this case let me remove all which is not at all needed let's just keep one so we can loop this and now in the index 
with the web.php which is handling is category.index let's get all categories and save it into a variable called dollar all category and with the help of compact function we can send this to the file and we can access this in the index at the rate for each all category as dollar cat at the rate end for each and this tr can be inside this laravel code and what we need is just category categories name let's see whether we are able to display the name yes as of now we just have one name and uh, over here let's add class vtn vtn primary the same way since it's delete it could have a class of danger which would save which would show the and if you want this to make even bigger column md11 and I don't think it's needed and whatever there inside anchor tag let's have the white space no wrap so a delete it will be the same line actually it's button cool let's just try adding one more category and check for this and uh, in the create category where is this so the route here it's going to be category dot create now if I click on this button I should direct back to the create and uh, we can make this uh, sports click on create category created and click on all category so we have two category entertainment and sports so by this you can search for keyword it's not needed as of now let's work on elite and delete functionality so in the edit button we need to pass a route and it's going to be category dot edit and as a second parameter we'll be passing this category and in the web just copy this edit and it's just category name of the function route name and uh, the category for the edit I can copy the whole thing we will be getting category and over here we need to pass get the id current cat id pass the cat id and here this is going to be the category model edit cat is the variable and we need to create a edit category so just as we did for index we need to create edit dot 
blade.php copy the same create code in the form of edit and here we can receive the va variable with edit cat and the value dollar edit cat name and its category dot store it should be category dot update and we need to pass the second route sorry variable the edit cat or just cat we got name and if I click on entertainment you should see we have a second used for somewhere it's over here so we would be getting category cat edit post undefined variable edit post it's not edit post it should be edit cat inside blog edit it's here it's the problem it's going to be I think it's categories and it should be categories let's just define the update method category and we edit yep yes we got sports all category if I click on entertainment you should see entertainment now it's time for update in the update code just copy the same thing from the blog and here instead of ID what we would be passing is edit cat in the web.php it's edit cat and in the category controller we can get the category edit cat and uh, this will hold the reference we have name and uh, this should be new nothing is needed edit cat edit cat dot save category of data if everything goes well we should get the message force not supported in the edit it's forced at the rate method it should be put that's the reason why I've copied entertainment 2 create 
it's updated. So instead, you can in the message you can see edit category and if I click on all categories here it should be entertainment too let's just click on edit and make this Bollywood edit category so it will be updated click on all category and you can see now it's Bollywood it's time to work on delete copy the whole thing it's category now category dot delete and over here again we can get the edit cat variable in the index just as we got here cat actually edit gets the cat and the same way we can give delete and the variable as cat in the delete of course method is going to be put sorry it's not put delete uh, post here and at the rate cross cross site request surgery at the rate method and here it's going to be delete and now we can add this class which is destroy just as we did here just copy this we have a destroy and here we can will get get category and now we can delete this and get them into the category index and save the status category deleted successfully Enough. if I delete Bollywood category deleted successfully and view all category and let me add a category called tour tourism and there would be tourism and what else we have current affairs click on create and we have three categories now let's just display these uh, replace this static value into dynamic value so this is block it is coming from block controller index page so before that let's just import the con category and the block index is responsible for showing all post now here we will grab all the category and send it with a variable with the compact function now we can access this in the blocks index and look for category I got it here now we need to loop with for each at the rate for each dollar as dollar cat now at the rate for each we can access this Now this value would be dynamic.
और की बंटू मजबी स्ट्रिंग डी ब्लॉक कंट्रेनर टेक दिस क्लोजर ओके हियर आई मेड अ मिस्टेक दिस शुड बी इनसाइड आरे Actually, we don't have to write this inside array. We can directly access it, passing as a string. That was a crazy small mistake. It was end for each. I have just used for each. That reason I could not get the output. Now, if I try to add one more category. Digital. Click on create. Now you should see one more category called digital. Now while creating a block, <coughs> let's just link our post with our category. So in that case, while creating a post, you need a drop down here. So let's do that. So first thing, we need to store. the category related to post in a table so for that we need a column so in the database in the migration look for create post and we are need to create one more foreign key and here it is going to be category id and references id from category table and cascade delete if i delete the category the post will also be deleted cool now there is one more minor problem which we may get so what we have done is the category should have should be created first so here it's 11 and the post is 9 so rename this file to something like it's better to rename with this post and make this 12 or something like 20 so that once our category table gets created and then our post table gets created so it would make sense or else you will get an error so now i'm going to delete all the post all the users from and i'm going to create it from scratch so for that we need to run this code so if before running this code it's better to rename this or else as i said you will get an error so now it would work smoothly how do i know it because i have already tried facing this issue that's why i know i got to know this earlier and uh, you see the co category id got created user id got created nothing to worry about it's just in general error it says and uh, let's look at structure it says foreign key constant could not be created so you can see the user id is created properly but the foreign is not create the foreign key is not created for category id let's try this with the table name category id no forget to save Oh my mistake! It's categories, not category. Save it. And yes, it got created. Now let's just refresh this and check. Yeah, both of them are properly connected. Now let's just create a user for now. <coughs> Now everything is fresh. I believe we don't have any error here. No post found. Cool. In the login, uh, let's just register myself as Vishal. One more time. Vishal at the rate gmail dot com. Password 
confirm password click on register and now if I click on create post we just need a drop down here and let's just create one in the resources views blog create we should have a drop down yes and comment this and now this is not dynamic we have to make this dynamic so for that we need to get into web.php and blog.kit is a route name and the relevant function is create in the block controller we need the categories so get the categories colon all dd cat store it into a variable now concat send it with compact function now with this drag it drop cat dd drop down cat we can create a for each loop at the rate for each as drop down at the rate end for each just add this category and select a disabled over here with this drop down we can have access to the column name name as well as the ID which we will pass as a value let's just see as of now I don't think we don't have anything let's just create a category create category I think I have not linked this so it's better we link this so in the home so it's going to be category dot create and category dot index pg and the next one is going to be category index refresh this category create so let's create some more values entertainment tourism and what else technology so now in the blog post create post we should see these three values yes we could see this now let's just try adding validation so here in the create we have added a name called category id and we are going to validate it with this and before that we need to show an error this is select so this is for category ID and uh, in the store <coughs> we need to create category ID also which is also required and uh, we need to pass the received category ID and store it into a variable so that we can store the category ID in the column name so you know the column name is same which because we have created just now made an error and I remember it and here you could get a since we don't have since this is the first post so the to create the slug we don't we won't have the previous data 
so in that case what we will do is we'll do a if condition if it is first post then do the condition if it is not the first post then what we need to do if this is null then what we need to do we need to make the post id as 1 and that's it so now we won't get any error so let's just try adding one post so let's just add one travel guide some content and choose a file and this is tourism click on submit attempt to read a property of id so here we need to add this first this latest latest isn't enough let's just try one more time and yes post saved successfully if I click on block yes we have one post now let's work on eloquent relationship between the post and the category so it's very simple just as we did for the app model user you can see we have created the eloquent relationship we have to do this for the category also so now it's simple now we need to create a function it should be public function and uh, post and we know post belong to category dollar this so this refers to the category category has many which is post class so the same way for the post we have category and category class and this belongs to cool now by pausing let me add some more values so that we can work on the filter and now let's just focus on these links so this is coming from index.vlog vlog index category href now we need to pass the route which is the blog index again pass to the same URL which is again the blog index and along with the along with that we need the name uh, the name as category and the value as the category name so now if I click on search you should see in the blog click on entertainment so you can see category entertainment if I click on blog you see category tourism category technology so this is coming from this route now in the web.php so in the blog container go for index here again we need to check if the request has category if the request has category then we need to modify the all post accordingly so that we can pass it over here and now that is cool but instead of 
creating it separately what we can do is we can create else if and uh, this would do the work for us now since we have made an eloquent relationship we need to call the category now I'm calling the category with the where clause and uh, we have a column in the category table as name and that should match with the query string that we have received whether it is these values you can see these values and with first or fail and as I said either we are going to get one value or not or zero value so consider this as one value and we will be getting the name let's say entertainment since we have made eloquent relationship with the post and, uh, make sure to use the same function name as we have created it over here it's just post and then we need a pagination of let's say 2 so that I can show you why I have written query string now just see and now if there is any value then this post would be shown appropriately refresh this call to member function on null this is the category that we would be getting I found the issue here it should be a return and I have renamed this to post now this should work and yes you got it tourism and technology now since we made this two now if you see if I click on two look at the query string the query string remains there so if I remove this query string and if I click on two you see the query string got disappear but this is the general general pagination so to maintain the query string on the URL we are making this purposely as a query string so this is second cool we have technology one tourism technology entertainment and latest news now to show the related post if I click on floods we should get the related force here so from where we are getting this view is from the show method of the blog I believe or from where get into web.php routes web.php block slug it's single fu single function in the block category call the single function and just above the single function with this slug we can get the post since we have eloquent relationship with the single post we can get the related category using the eloquent relationship and store this related category so it's just category now we can get the relevant post with this category so with this category we can get all posts with the eloquent relationship then pick the latest one and take only two and display it with get now store this into a variable called related category post or related post and send this with compact function now with this related post in the single post where is the single post 
we have a recommended So previously we have accessed with the parenthesis. Now I tried accessing without parenthesis, then it works. Now we get the news, and with the help of news, we are getting the related post, and with the related post, latest top two and get. And now this is the category, something like tourism, and then we got the related tourism post. So the latest to post we sh that shows up. So in the vlog, in the entertainment, entertainment has only one. Tourism has some more value, more data. So if I click on digital trends, so this is the related post. So what it says is when you want up, this is called the property access, and this is called the method access function access you can see you should access it with as a property to type the related categories S you should only use the method when you want the relationship query builder so now without with property we, re we drive with property we retrieve the instance with method we drive the relationship query builder so that's the difference now we get the related post and now you see this is getting repeated again so now we don't want that so that's a bad user experience so to stop what we need to do is in the slug just after the post we need to create a where condition so where the id of the post is not equal to not equal to this single post id it's not a string so it's a variable now let's see cool the repeating is not showing the repeated post is not showing up so that's that's what we need 